Toys, Virgin Mobile, and so on. These advertisers recognize the potential this powerful medium represents. With is to combine digital identities to ads. Very simple. Excellent presentations already put in here. You guys have an amazing technology. But the bottom line is that all that technology will not make sense in Web2 if you cannot authenticate the user. Users is the key lab. You know, you remember Time Magazine says, the end of the year is you. Okay, but that man, the end of the year is actually the person that holds the digital identity. So our mission is very simple. We want to enable every single Because from a developing country, we want everybody to have a digital ID. The good news is that this is a study. Spain has launched a DNA project. Everybody in Spain has a digital ID now in their wallets. <coughs> Switzerland is moving. Next year, we're going to have a digital ID in Switzerland. We're going to have a chip on our IDs. America is moving. And hopefully, once the new government starts, that will accelerate with the real ID project, which is a five billion project per month over five years, just to put all Americans. So what is happening is the countries are moving towards having a digital ID. We have to create an ID so we move into a transaction on the internet. If the internet is not transactional, it means that you cannot carry serious transactions. Every single serious operation on the internet is on an X25. SWIFT is an X25 network. CETA is an X25 network. Uh, private banks are still on X25. Why they are still on X25 having IT technology available? Because we don't trust them. The internet is an untrusted environment. If we start to secure the web, we also have to start to secure the person who has the web. So how do you do that? Very complicated, guys. We invest eighty million dollars. It's coming in years that now extrapolating that experience that we gain on um, basically let you do things for the Chinese, maybe in Switzerland for the Swiss, but if you want to do online, if you want to do broadcasting, which is for you guys is very uh, Publicist Live, Publicist is a member of the uh, group Publicist, it's the largest event organizers of the world. They have the, uh, uh, they organize the uh, Festival de Cannes, they organize very, very big meetings, and they are using YCID as a way to secure the access to those meetings. And again, after the meeting, allowing uh, the people to participate in the social network. So we believe that direct advertisement will improve significantly. At the identification through in all kinds of ways because they are not willing to affirm the reality that if they want to approach the people, they have to recognize to the people that part of the revenue model belongs to you. You as a user, you should be only that part of the revenue model. Hopefully this is the way you're going to have a viral expansion of ideas. As I mentioned, we are, and I would like to insist on the issue on privacy. By the way, Juan Avellan, which is uh, behind the computer, is a privacy expert, he has been working with the European Union, he has been working with all the major organizations in defining how can you fire protect your ID. Your privacy key is essential. That the ethical and the legal use of that ID should be uncompromisable. Uh, so next. So now I'm going to show you what you can do with that ID. This is something with I'm going to have one million people, another one million people, we're going to have 900,000 high work individuals. Yes, I was also a, we were co-sponsors of Alini, and what we did is with him we created a, a social network, GoHighTrusted.com, which allowed you uh, to federate all the people with a strong authentication into the network. So in the network now it is a login, I, I log uh, with additional ID, so I will have to put in that case, this is my YC ID card, I have a card, I open my office, I log how many clicks it did, and actually the good news is that this Stay there because he wants to see maybe the final. Maybe the only reason why he accessed the website was to see the final. Who cares? This is the brainwashing for advertising, which is all what it's about. You've been the entire day watching that specific website before we have been with the We are negotiating with other companies. One where I can continue uh, uh, using my credits to buy uh, uh, t shirts of a linky. Uh, so this is uh, just another example uh, of, uh, this is uh, now that the system has detected that I am an Alinghi fan because I watched the video, now he's bringing me to the high trust on Alinghi side, on where again uh, advertisers are going to be sending me information 
directed to me because they are compiling more and more information on myself. So if you go to the next level, and there's a selling, uh, and you see you won four credits for seeing that advertising. So this is creating a stock market for advertising media. That's what it's all about. We are creating a stock market and advertising media on where at the beginning we did multiple authentication methods, and that's where you guys have an amazing uh, technology that can be integrated. We are going to convert physical identity process, passport, driver license, club memberships, gym memberships, hotels, frequent flyers, everything into digital ID. And this is the work we are doing, it's like uh, mining. All that is going to be allow, allow for us to build a profile environment which allows us to be more granular in our access control. This is increasing the system, improving the single sign-on, and basically allowing us to become a major player in what is happening now, which is the internet. So identification is the only way on where we can start to have serious negotiation and, and arbitration with them. Okay, so let's